how does Charlotte home values compare with other cities around the nation? Specifically, for $1 million, what can you get in other cities versus how much you can get in Charlotte? Does Charlotte still represent a really good value for your money? Well, today I thought it would be fun to kind of take a look and see. All right, welcome back, y'all. My name is John Patrick. I'm a full-time realtor here in Charlotte. I've lived in this area for over 40 years now. I absolutely love it. I love introducing people to the South. And if you're looking for information about what it's like to live, work, and play in Charlotte, you've come to the right place. If you're even thinking about moving to the Charlotte area, please don't hesitate. Reach out to me. Let me know what I can do to be of service to you. So the South has a reputation of being a really affordable place to live, but Charlotte is a busy, growing city with a really high appreciation rate, and less and less it feels like our, our real estate is a deal, as it were. And certainly compared to some other larger cities, it probably is, but honestly our real estate is pretty close to the average across the nation. So what I thought I'd do today, it'd be kind of fun, was to pull up a screen share and actually look at several different cities and see what you could get for $1 million versus what you could get in Charlotte. Now, I'm going to go with probably LA, San Francisco, New York. I've not rehearsed this. I've not really looked at what I'm going to see here. So it's all going to be a surprise for both of us. And the reason I did those before anybody is like, oh, those are so much bigger cities and so much more expensive. No, that's true. But these are also locations that are big for people moving to the Charlotte area, specifically people being relocated here. So I could compare Charlotte with, say, Austin or St. Louis, somewhere like that. It'd probably be pretty close, but these bigger cities, you're going to, I think, see a more dramatic difference in just how far your money will go when you move to the Charlotte area. So I'm going to flip my screen around here. And the first place I pulled up is Los Angeles, California. I've narrowed it down. It's only for sale stuff, um, one to 1.3 million. So lowest I can get and houses. I'm not specifying number of beds and baths. And you'll notice I'm not doing like the whole area. Uh, you know, I'm not looking down here in Anaheim or in Whittier. I'm just doing LA. You know, maybe if you're up in Santa Clara, you get more money, more for your money. I, I don't know, but I just wanted to make this as simple as possible. So look over here, and uh, let's see, $1 million, a three-bed, two-bath, 1,600 square feet. Uh, three-bed, two-bath, 1,766 square feet. An ad. One, just over 1 million, 1,287 square feet. This one's pretty. Let's look at this one. So one million, four bed, two bath, 2,100 square feet. What a pretty lawn. I don't wanna mow that. Oh, oh, 3D view, nice. But let's, uh, let's go back and not look at that. Okay, nice and bright and light um, carpet. Eh, not a big fan of that fireplace right there. There we go, I'm trying to get to the kitchen. All right, stainless steel appliances. Uh, looks like stone countertops, white. Very contemporary. Not sure about the off yellow walls there, but paint is cheap, right? Uh, oh, I like the, like the range right there. All right, so honestly, pretty basic. That view right there honestly looks a little bit like uh, some apartments I've seen. But um, this was 2,100 square feet. That's good square footage, honestly. I'm not sure a million dollars for 2,100 square feet is, but that's uh, just under $500 a square foot, 450, something like that. But here's another one right next to it. Two bedroom, one bath, 883 square feet. <laughs> what else we got here? So 23, 27, 1800, 1908. So you can get 
in that 17, 22, 2300 square feet for maybe a million. So let's switch up to um, San Francisco. Let's see what they get. Fourteen hundred square feet, eleven eleven hundred. Been on the market for hundred and fifty three days on Zillow. Look at that tiny little thing, eleven hundred square feet with no interior pictures. That's very telling. All right, uh, eleven hundred square feet, fifteen hundred square feet. 1,200 square feet. Let's look at this one. This has got an interesting outside. Uh, again, it seems to be attached. Oh, pretty inside. Pretty. I like those floors. Still pretty small, 1,500 square feet. And let's look at this kitchen real quick. Stylish, but old. Old and painted, up, updated a little bit. Look at that, is that a door for uh, like putting your ironing board in? Standalone range right there. So this is something that's been redone. What year was this built? Nineteen forty one. So it was born in nineteen forty one. No air conditioning. Maybe that's standard up in San Francisco. Adorable. Let's look at uh, another one. This one is 1.15 million, two bedroom, two bath, 825 square feet. Look at those modern, shiny cabinets. Very, very nice, very up to date. This wood on the walls, like right here. Oh, this is, this is nice. But, okay, so it's not a standalone house. Um, that's, that is nice, though, but 825 square feet. So it looks like in San Francisco, 800 up to probably 1,500 is where you've got to be um, if you're getting staying close to a million dollars. So... Let's do, instead of just typing in New York, let's do, let's do Staten Island. So four bed, one bath, 859 square feet for 1 million. There's 2,800 square feet, 16, 23. Let's look at this one. This is four bedroom, four bath. That's pretty. Brand new, too. It looks like brand new construction. That's brand new. On a 3,700 square foot lot. <laughs> And uh, it does have central air. All right, so it does have central air with that little, little backyard right there. All right, so come on. Let's switch over here and look at Charlotte real quick. So one thing to note immediately, there are a total of 20 listings. So if you want to be over a million but under 1.3, we only have 20 choices. And that's because the mass of our stuff is down that 380 range, probably. So here's one. Um, one, one, excuse me, 1.025 million, four beds, five baths, 3,000 square feet. Let's take a look at this. I don't know this house. New construction, it looks like. Yep, built in 2021. So this is a brand new home on a 7,000 square foot lot. So that's a sixth of an acre, feels like. Um, of course, central air. You need air conditioning down here. 
exposed beams, huge open floor plan, um, a little rustic here on the cabinetry. Wow. All right, here's the next one, four bedroom, four bath, 3,200 square feet. <laughs> and here's a, here's a good one. This is kind of what I expected to see. So this one is right here. This is down um, in what's called Ballantine. So if you've got Charlotte here, it's generally more expensive the closer you are. You know, look right here. Uh, 2,500, oh, 2,600 square feet. There we go. 3,300 square feet, 3,200 square feet, 3,500 square feet. But go down here to Ballantyne. Now you've got more of a commute. It's probably a 45 minute drive, something like that to uptown. But let's look at this one. Just over $1 million. Look at that beast right there. 2006 build. 0.42 acres, so just under half an acre. Look at that entrance. Oh, I like the stone on that fireplace. And look at these boring little nooks were turned into something special. That's nice. Two story, almost three freaking story living room. That monstrous center hinge door right there. How cool is that? And there's your kitchen. Oh, I like this. This is a little, oh, this, oh. Um. Hello. <laughs> yeah, this is what I wanted to see here. All right, so they've got a screened in porch on the back, it looks like, with a fireplace. Oh, wow. I could, yeah, I could spend some time out here. Big deck, trees surrounding the property, and there's the back of the house. So, guys, I, you know, this is really short, absolutely not a comprehensive study of what you can get for your money in Charlotte versus other big cities that you might be re relocating here from, but I think it's an interesting comparison, and it did show exactly what I thought it would. We have the slightly more urban, smaller homes, old homes that have been upfitted and renovated and can command pretty high prices, but go just a little bit out of side of town, still in the city, and $1 million will get you 4,500 square feet on 0.42 acres. Charlotte still represents a massive value for your money and you can get substantially more spread out space for the family. So I hope you enjoyed this guys. Let me know your comments below. Let me know your thoughts. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out.